How can we use algebra tiles to add and subtract directed numbers? Let's look at these different ways that we can use algebra tiles. First, let's see what zero pairs are. Because the reverse side of an algebra tile represents its additive inverse, we can use the one tiles to represent calculations involving directed numbers. Combining a tile with its red counterpart represents a value of zero and is called a zero pair. Now let's look at identifying zero pairs when adding directed numbers. We can represent the addition 5 add negative 2 using 5 1 tiles and 2 negative 1 tiles. There are two zero pairs. As these have a value of 0, we can remove these tiles. This leaves three positive 1 tiles, representing a solution of positive 3. We can remove tiles to represent a subtraction. For the subtraction 4 subtract 3, we start with four positive 1 tiles. We then remove three tiles to leave one positive 1 tile, representing a solution of positive 1. We sometimes need to add zero pairs when subtracting. Let's look at an example. For the subtraction 4 subtract negative 3, we need to remove three negative 1 tiles, but we only have four positive 1 tiles. We can add three zero pairs without changing the value of the number sentence. We can now remove the three negative one tiles. This leaves a solution of positive seven. Similarly, with the subtraction negative four subtract negative five, we start with four negative one tiles and we need to remove five negative one tiles. By adding a zero pair, we can make this possible and obtain a solution of positive one. Let's look a bit closer at how we subtracted negative five. To subtract negative 5 from negative 4, we only had to add one zero pair because we already had four negative 1 tiles. However, the minuend can take any value, so it's important to understand that when subtracting negative 5 or any negative quantity, we can add that number of zero pairs and then remove the negative ones. We can see that subtracting a negative amount is equivalent to adding the same positive amount. Let's remind ourselves of how we can use the one tiles when adding and subtracting directed numbers. Watch these videos to learn more about how to use algebra tiles in Key Stage 3 Mathematics.